Hey, it's Greg here again. And in this video, I just want to talk to you about uh, your father. And did you have, was your father an angry drunk? Did your father um, constantly have a lot of anger, frustration? He was never happy and he used to drink a lot and he used alcohol to try and escape himself. And then you grew up with just having this angry father who would spend more time focusing on alcohol than he would with his kids. He didn't show you any love, any affection, probably didn't even know how to. Now, most, most people that I speak to who did have kind of uh, a father who was not really that caring and loving and tactile and, and was quite angry and upset and, and, and unhappy with himself and maybe used alcohol as his escapism, it was typically because they had their own hard upbringing. They might have had a hard upbringing from their father. And this comes into generational programming. So I don't condone um, men who are angry and are drunks and are not um, there and supportive for their family. But I do empathize with uh, what they experience when they grew up, when they are children. Now I wanna to talk to you specifically around passing down that generational programming because a lot of men in particular who did have that type of father, they tried their hardest to avoid becoming that, but when they are at their worst, they actually become that. They become like their father. They carry a lot of anger, a lot of rage, a lot of resentment and frustration. And when they are down and their willpower is down, this is what shows up, but it doesn't show up in the business world. It doesn't show up in the external world. It shows up at home. It shows up to their family. It shows up to their wife and their children. And then they feel so guilty that they are becoming what they resented in their own father. And they don't want to pass that on to their children. But for the life of them, they feel like they're stuck and they can't change. And they're just in these negative loops. This is why it is so important for everybody, but I'm talking particularly to men, that if you carry a lot of anger, a lot of rage, a lot of frustration, you're never happy, and you need to escape through alcohol or drugs or porn or gambling, and you're constantly self-sabotaging, you need to do the inner work. You need to heal your inner child. You need to identify where this programming is coming from. Did it come from your father? Did it come from your mother? Where did it come from? And you need to heal. You need to heal yourself because if you don't do that work and you don't heal yourself, you are going to pass your stuff on to the next generation and they are going to go through the same pain and suffering that you've gone through and your father went through and maybe his father went through. This is really important for men to look at evolution and look at breaking these generational negative patterns and cycles that are just keep on getting passed down. It is up to us as men to change this and to set our children up for a better future, a more emotionally intelligent future, and to not carry on and pick up our bad traits as a way for them to kind of soothe and comfort themselves when they don't feel good enough, when they don't feel worthy and get angry. This is important work. And if you want to talk to me about how I help men do this inner work, this inner healing, this parental programming, then please reach out, DM me. Happy to have a chat. Have a great day.